everyone, it's Char, and today I'm going to explain to you what this and this means, especially if you know what it means when there's two knights on a horse, one's got the other one's back. Ooh. So some idiot, without consent and permission, decided to take a bunch of my older videos smash them together oh and by the way i do have paid promotion so it's illegal and my stuff is watermarked by the icon in the corner so on youtube so when a person does this it's illegal and he wanted to point at that saying well that has some dude you don't even show your face Serious, you don't even show your face. So who are you to speak about other people and giving misinformation? You're worse than CNN, the criminal news network, okay? You don't show your face. You give misinformation. You try to race bait. For one, I'm not white. I am not white. And that flag right there, that flag represents different thing. Well, let my shirt show you. Since you want to be that part of ignorance and come at somebody that's a what? What's that say? That's right. Lodge rings. My lodge flag. My lodge shirt. Oh, wait. Wait, what's that that I'm wearing in my hair? Um, a real fox tail. Um, I'm wearing my medicine bag. My DNA came back as Blackfoot and Black. Not all natives are super tan in the winter so that you get your back straight. And not all Black people mixed with different nationalities happen to be dark. Oh, wait, but, you know, you would know that if you were actually smart. And another smart fact for you, jerk, would be if you actually knew that most indigenous American people are in the armed services than any other nationality in this country. But, you know, we don't bow down. To people. We do not bow down to other people and do that. No, we stand strong together. Unless, of course, you brainwash somebody into your ignorant ways of being. But, you know, the Templar Order, we stand for what's right and we stand for other people. And we fight for what's right because there's the knowledges of enlightenment and you're obviously not enlightened. If you were an enlightened person, you wouldn't be stupid going around being a racist wanker pig. Right there. I'm just going to call it out. How do I even know that's your real voice? See right there. I don't even know if that's your real voice because you're obviously using some sort of voice simulator. Um, you have fat shamed a child. Um, yeah, you went after a cop. <laughs> like, dude, you obviously do not have a life. You don't do your research. You bit and clip video from other people's channels without consent and or permission. And when certain things are marked in people's content. Um, by the way, the sewing thing, you really zoomed in with your edit with that. But thank you for the watch time. You're a complete idiot. You are a complete idiot because there is a person out there, which is probably you and your little friends anyway, with a fake account using my icon which is illegal to do in the first place, according to the Native Nations, because 
the Native nations are segregated in America and not allowed to live amongst other people unless of course you're Lenape. The tribes in Jersey are only recognized by the state and not the government. That's completely different. Oh, but wait, you're not educated enough to know this, are you? We get stolen at birth, taken off the res straight at birth, and um, we have to discover later on where we really belong because we're treated like shit from the people that raise us because those people are paid by the states to raise us and most of us get beat on and treated so badly it's horrible oh well, we we don't really do anything for her because she's not one of our blood kids okay but that doesn't mean you treat somebody like shit also doesn't mean you talk shit about other people because you know what people like that, that do this kind of crap I'm gonna tell you you have set your path for where you're gonna end up on the other side man obviously you don't have a soul if you had a soul you would know better but you're so not doing that and then you're sending your little crony to try to leave links in my comments you're absolutely doing that you're leaving uh, your little cronies to go leave pornography links in my comment area uh, oh but she talks so you know what dude all you did was really post me going like but you know what because your shit's about to stop you racist piece of shit and um if you really want to know if you really are from the united kingdom how about tell your queen over there to return one of our people because that person's name is not rebecca you even have her regalia in a museum. Oh, wait, what's native regalia? Hold on, because you know, you might not get that. Because you're not from here, you asshole. See that? That is indigenous American regalia. This was supposed to be for last year's powwow. But there was no powwow last year because of the flu the flu oh but maybe that's why your brain is so clogged full of bullshit if you can't tell the truth why are you even bothering if you cannot be truthful why are you bothering in fact all you are is a disgusting being that's all you are you're disgusting our culture is considered to be endangered species. We are an endangered culture. And how dare you pick on an endangered culture? Oh, you're gonna make fun of this over here? Oh, well, let's see. I do portrait work for people. I sew. That's just part of my sewing stash sitting right there waiting to be used some of it waiting to be sent to people that have requested something do i get paid from that no i don't i do not take money from other people because i have a soul that even though i lived a harsh life and was beaten on and treated like crap i reach out to other people and i give back that's what I do. I give back. Oh, and this? That's a sick call box. My Italian friend, when uh, his parents passed away, that was his mother's. And there's 13 disciples sitting there, not 12. So this is a rare one with the original candles and the original everything else. And you know what? 
Not everybody gets to keep one to protect, but you know what? Some of us protect things. But hey, you know, you're not smart enough to let the truth be told to instead of making fun of other people. I'm being serious. Instead of making fun of other people, maybe you should fess up and clean your soul. The eyes always watch and record everything that everybody has done. And that doesn't just include Big Brother's eye and ear in the sky, by the way. The Creator has records of everybody's soul, what you do. You'll be like, oh my God, now she's preaching. No, it's common sense. If you don't have common sense enough to treat other people with respect, you need to go somewhere, sit for a while, and think on that. Because you have no common sense to get to it. Like, what kind of people raised you? That's a good question. What kind of people raised you to be that ignorant? And you are ignorant. And yes, this is real regalia. And this took me some time to make. You want to say that I don't know how to sew? Dude, do you know how hard it is to put in the gusset pieces on the side of a dress? That is very hard to do. And half of the dress ideas in America mostly came from regalia. And regalia was not originally made out of cloth and bead. It was originally made out of buck hide. So are moccasins. So is the jewelry. This has actual buck hide on the back of it. So before you go talking about other people in our cultures, oh wait, I don't look, my skin isn't pale today, is it? Because I don't filter things. I do not filter. People like you, you're a joke. You want to say I look like the Joker? I don't think so. Check your soul before you go talking crap. Especially about an endangered culture of people. Oh look, I'm in the same spot. Except my skin is dark. Really? You're pathetic. You really are. You are pathetic. And you know what? Go ahead and come over here. Go ahead. Because my stuff is watermarked. That's right. Oh, and what moisturizers have I used today? I found out that I had a little bit left from, um, for my lips from uh, Izzy B Creation Shop and also from Janelle's Glam Boutique. Oh, which by the way, since that's paid promotion, it goes here. And that Templar flag up there, like I was saying, oh yeah, there's some history behind that. That flag is also a flag of the Native Nations. Yeah, it has some history. It, it's part of the Native Nations. But you would know that if you did your research. You would know that if you were actually smart. Yeah, you would know that if you were actually smart. Oh, and the other thing it represents, it's also a military flag. As above, so below. Right and wrong. It does not, 
<laughs> I don't know where the hell you got a clan plague idea from. Excuse? This is, does not represent the clan. It is the Knight Templar Order. Lodge ring? Associated with the Knights. Let's see. Hospitaller. And um, sometimes even the Knights of Malta, which are royal knights. Yes, the Knights of Malta still exist. So does the Knights Hospitaller? <laughs> and Templar Knights never went away. That organization, our organization, have been around. Oh, let me show you up close on that. Our organization has been around for years, centuries. So before you go bashing the order, you need to get yourself in order. Because... Um, they deem me the Betsy Ross of the order for a reason. Absolutely for a reason. If I wasn't that way, they would not have deemed me the Betsy Ross of the order. You have to have skills in order to achieve that. You absolutely do. So for you to talk shit about other people when nobody, nobody has ever done this to you. Who did something to you to make you think that other people did something to you? Wasn't me. Definitely wasn't me. And uh, considering some people in uniform, like you bash on my friend Robbie, he wore a uniform, but it was for serving this country. Yeah, it was serving this country. You bash on cops. They put on a uniform to protect people. At least ours aren't named Bobby. <laughs> right, at least in America, we don't have Bobbies. I just think that's a horrible name for a police officer. Is it Bobby? Mm -mm. So like I said, before people go trash talking to other people, get your facts right. Stop bitting and clipping other people's videos in which you do not have consent and or permission. I if I don't answer you, the answer is no. That doesn't mean go ahead and bash an endangered culture. I don't know. Go check your soul, man, if you still have them left. If you're even a man, which I doubt with that voice simulator. We don't know what you really are. You can be typing in words into a voice simulator and making people think it's a real person when it's not a real person speaking, technically. So before you go and bash other people, you better check yourself because at least most of us have balls to show our face on the internet. And with that said, real people out there, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. You know why? Because your soul just isn't in your chest. It's everywhere around you. And sometimes your colors show. With that said, I will see you in the next one.